on me so introduce the video she is looking at me like absolutely not hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing something which i've been dreaming of for years so a little bit of backstory, I moved away from home when I was, two years ago I moved away from home and I moved up to Brighton. This was just for business opportunity, a lot of my friends moved up here so I thought why not. Since then I've been able to do this full time, I've been able to work as a fitness influencer for, a fitness influencer full time. When I first moved to Brighton, I had a studio flat. The, the two years I lived there, I never even had a bed. I had to sleep on a sofa bed, um, which is fine. And I know a lot of people got it worse off, so I was absolutely fine doing that. I was saving up, saving up, saving up, so I could get somewhere like this. And I'm so excited to be able to show you around my new flat today. It's nowhere near finished. I've only been in here about a couple of, literally two weeks now, and I've been trying to get as much as I can done. But for example, the sofa isn't coming until five weeks. Um, I've got a lot to do, so I will definitely do an updated one once everything is in. Miso's had enough already. She's like, yeah, you're boring me. I need to clean this mirror, so excuse that. But I am also going to be showing you the grounds that I live on because I do have a gym. Uh, we have a reception, we have a work room, we have like a party room. We also have 24-7 security, which is so important to me because my last flat got broken into, as you guys might remember. This is the front room slash kitchen so first off there is a lot of stuff out here so please excuse all the mess you're just gonna have to imagine it without all of that basically these are the amazing massive doors that i love and they open all the way out so you just get this lovely breeze and it's really nice in the nighttime as well because all these lights you have on the church is lit up it's absolutely beautiful stuff over there is miso's stuff which is obviously going to be neat and tidy um i need to get her a bed as but anyway, this is my little coffee table set up, which I'm obsessed with. This is a TV unit. So when I brought this, I made it from Ikea. When I brought it, I only brought screws for the middle cabinet. So the two sides of the cabinets are still yet to go on. Again, the decorations, excuse that, it's not gonna look like that. So the TV, I am planning to actually get on the wall, which I'm very excited for. Um, and I'm gonna have, obviously, a lot more plants. Here, just imagine that there's gonna be a cream corn on a sofa going all the way out and it's one that's quite like got like a little thick footstool here as well which i think is going to be stunning anyway we are onto the kitchen now so this is the kitchen which i'll show you better in a minute this is a kitchen island that i got from ikea honestly ikea saved my butt i'm not gonna lie that i got from ikea and i absolutely love it i wasn't sure originally or oh, excuse excuse the the cardboard i wasn't sure originally if i wanted it but honestly, it's just given me, like, it's given somewhere to sit. But obviously, it would have been, like, a nice open space if not. But it's fine. I love it. I also got these cute stools, which I'm obsessed with. They're, like, high, high fold-up chairs. So much storage. Honestly, moving from a studio flat, which had about three cupboards, to moving to all of this, I've got so many cupboards to fill. The best bit of the whole vlog. Oh, with my spice rack. Um, I do want to see this is where I need your help. I think I want to put something else here I don't know what so if you guys have any suggestions, please do let me know Um, also have these cute little bits which I did have from my studio flat, which I love I just love how like excuse the washing up how simple and minimalistic this is I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I also have a dishwasher which is very exciting to me because I hate washing up so love to see it on your right here we have duh, 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 let me turn the light on the bathroom oh, i could have made that look nice right well this is a very realistic home tour i'm not gonna lie so this is the guest bathroom so if you're coming here and you're a guest this is what you will see a little thing wobby um we've got some nice little paintings i say paintings prints um, I have to be one of those people that has everything labelled. Also, I thought this was cute. Like, if you're a little guest, it'd be nice to have some, like, there's, like, tampons there, there's face masks, hand towels. Honestly, this has made my life complete. Hi! Duh, duh, duh. Also, we have underfloor heating. 
that's honestly a dream of mine to have underfloor heating and I'm so thankful to have it honestly. And this is a very realistic tour because the bed's a bit messy and we have a bag of shoes there. Honestly this lighting is not not ideal it has a walk-in wardrobe. I need your help with that we'll talk about that in a minute. This is the bed that I've just got obviously I had to buy a new bed because I was living on a sofa bed. Um, H&M home by the way check it out it's very very good an ensuite which i'll show you in a minute and we have another one of the massive massive windows to wake up with anyway so guys over here this is not going to be here what do i put here i was thinking maybe some like a, oh, i don't know i could put like posters or i could get like some like i don't i don't know i could just get like a stand with like some decorations on it i feel like it's such a it's so empty at the moment, you know? There's literally just the bed in here and that's it. There's a lot of floor space, so I'm thinking maybe like a big rug, I don't know. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, I am thinking of maybe putting a mirror here. This is the ensuite. Again, we have the heated flooring, which is lovely. I've got all my washing in there, so please excuse that. I love the aesthetics of the toilet. I did have a little poster up there, but it fell down. But yeah, so this is the toilet, lovely, simple. Um, this is the one that I'll be using, so I'll have mainly my products in. Um, I need to get some towels, actually. Shan't forget that. I feel like I'm rushing through it, so I'm very sorry. I'm just very excited, and when I'm excited, I speak very fast. It's time to show you the my walk-in wardrobe. Honestly, every time I walk in here, I fall in love so hard okay right so i'm in the room now and i wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory for why i wanted it i know it is quite a normal thing for people to have a walk-in wardrobe but my parents got divorced i think i was maybe 10 and i was living out of bags pretty much my whole life i moved to brighton really i was living out of bags because i'd i'd spend the weekends with my dad then i spend like a lot of time with my mom. So for me it, I've never had any of my clothes in one place and I absolutely love all an organization. I said to myself once I get my own place with a spare room I want to make it into a walk-in wardrobe. It's just so crazy to me that I have this. To, I mean at the end of the day all it is is like some wood put together with some clothes hanging up. I understand that but I'm just so grateful to be able to have this and I'm just so excited to show you. So, without further ado, I make. I hope it's not an anti-climax now, but let me show you my walk-in wardrobe. Ta-da! So, it is nowhere near done. Excuse all of this. Let me explain to you my whole vision. So, all these shoe cabinet things are gonna go. I am gonna have a proper, like, shoe cabinet come in. This cabinet right here is what my dreams have been made of. Obviously, you guys know that I am signed to Able, pretty much the best active wear company out there, in my opinion, for sure. And I am so grateful to be able to have a whole wardrobe dedicated to Able. Okay, it's not quite colour coordinated yet, I know, so don't have me for that, but this is stuff of dreams. Draw, we have some socks. Um, this one here, we have oh, we have sports bras. You can't fold sports bras to look neat. We have shorts, and look how many shorts I have. I'm obsessed with them. Um, also, can we just appreciate the colours that are going on here? Oh and then at the bottom one we have leggings um we also have all my sports bras that i wear pretty much like daily because i do wear able daily up here we have all the leggings here these are the ones that i mainly wear on a day-to-day -day basis a little ad break i do have a support link with able which i'll pop down in the description if you do want to get anything for able this just supports me with my journey with them and helps my future with them there is absolutely no pressure but i just thought you'd like to know this is actually their new collection that they are releasing soon and it is their varsity collection varsity collection which is coming out very soon this this is like a little sneak peek so shush don't tell anyone okay, so this cupboard right here is filled with my clothes it's probably not very tidy so please excuse that here i've got all of my trousers um which i love because i hate having trousers folded up because i can never see what's what i have my skirts i have my dresses up here i have like all my knitwears then i have all my vests um 
that I have and then just all my like tops and stuff like that. Here's what I need your guys help with. So eventually there's going to be LED lights so it's going to look a lot nicer but I'm not feeling this at all. So this is the jewelry drawer. Obviously it's not much I can do with that. It's going to have a glass shield over it. There is a drawer here that is missing. That's going to be like a pull out one as well. So I'm thinking of just having like things folded up in here basically like plain jumpers, scarves, gloves, stuff like that. Also for this, this is nowhere near done. I've just kind of put my cameras on there so I had nowhere else to put them. I've kind of got like my favorite shoes going on here. Don't know how that looks, what do you guys think? Then I've got uh, my bags that I love on here. Um, again, don't know what I think. Should I get like a bag holder to like stack them up? I'm not too sure. This wardrobe here is kind of like a spare wardrobe. However, there is a lot of clothes still to go, so I'm kind of ignoring that, I'm not gonna lie. I'm also gonna have like a special display for my like Passava stuff, which is my own business that I've launched with pump covers. Um, not too sure what to do, how to do it, maybe just like a little rack. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions. I don't know if you guys can imagine, but imagine coming from a studio flat, which was pretty much this size room, you know, to then having this as a walk-in wardrobe, it's just very surreal. Um, could have done it without you guys, so thank you very much for just always, always being here and supporting me. Just love how light and airy it is. It's just so pretty, and Miso makes it look a lot prettier. <laughs> I can't actually show you a lot outside just because my I want my security and my location to be absolutely private. So there is people in there. I'm gonna try and get a little sneak peek, but this is like the study place. So they have like a TV in there, which they often like have the Olympics. You really can't see, and I'm very sorry for this awful filming. Um, but yeah, so this is where you work. They also have like a free coffee machine where you can get free coffees and stuff, which is really sweet of them. This is the gym. So there is someone currently working out in there, so I'm not really gonna film it. Um, but it's very simple is what it is very sweet um yeah we get free usage there's classes there as well which is nice also everything here is super high tech this is the communal sort of gardens there's like a coffee shop here which is so cool gives me london vibes um these are gonna be turned into places like other like little restaurants we've got a new restaurant over there but yeah and then you can come and work over here and there's a little dance studio there's a pilates studio that's about it i have a utility cupboard which has got like a washing machine like that in but that's not that interesting so i probably won't show you that i cannot wait to show you it once it's all done and thank you guys for watching um and yeah if you've followed me since like the garage days you'll know how, how long this journey has been to get to here and i'm just so grateful for every aspect of my life um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure you guys know that. Um, but anyway, enough of the emotional stuff. I wanted to say thank you, have a good day, and please help me with all those bits. If you have any suggestions what to do, any colours to add, please let me know. Other than that, see you later!